Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here and welcome to a brand new part of Spyro Reignited Trilogy. There we go, we are heading into Sunny Villa, beautiful loading screen there and uh, let's get started here. It's been a while since the last part, I have been uh, very very busy over this Christmas period but really so keen to be back and we're going to be finishing off this home world. We want to get one last part in. Before the end of 2022. Uh, 2022. Let's hope this LP gets done before the end of that. I can't believe your kind really exists. Oh, bit of lore there. Sorry, and I'm hitting him for my trouble, for his troubles. Now, the lore there, of course, is that, you know, dragons have been, all, you know, were banished. There was no magic, you know, well, they were banished from this world and everything like that. So, you know, he's basically saying, yeah, haven't seen you, have no idea who you are. But yeah, this is Sunny Villa, and, you know, this is not the first part of the LP, or the second part of the LP, because, I, as I said, I kind of wanted to go out of the way and, and do a bunch of stuff. But also, I wanted to make sure that we had, uh, what's it called? Um, let's talk, see Just let me catch my breath, and then I'll kick that other guy's butt. Yeah. Now let's find out. We showed those two bullies. If they hadn't outnumbered me two to one, I'd have finished them off ages ago. The Spyro needs more dialogue like that, where they just kind of have this like random like scene, scene scenario stuff, you know? That'd be kind of be cool. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do that because I wanted to, you know, there's no point in backtracking if we don't have to. Like, obviously there will be backtracking part, like for example, there'll be a backtracking part uh, for the next level I do, which will be Molten Crater. I won't be at 100% that because I need access to Old man Sergeant Bird, Byrd, James Bird. But I think that's like when I look at Sunny Villa from a you know a a you know perspective of of how much it's sort of you know inspired by the original, how much they've done their own thing and stuff. I like it. I actually dig it. I think that they've done a really good job with it overall. I think that the matching you know they've kind of gone for this. Um, how would I describe? Yeah, it's sort of like a wooden... Oh, jeez, you hear that? That was almost a... Almost, I, I held up a sneeze, which is like kind of satisfying, kind of not. Depending, it depends on who you ask. Um, all right, you know what we're gonna... Actually, no, we're not gonna... Do, okay, this is... I'm, I'm kind of doing the, the level all weird in order, but I'm actually going to avoid that because otherwise I'll have to get the skill point again. Okay. Miles, Miles Davis, Miles Teller, Miles Dyson, Miles Dyson, see I know Miles Dyson is a DJ, uh, like a producer, but apparently he's a character, or at least he died or something like that, he, yeah, some kind of, he's an actor or in a movie or something like that, I can't remember the specifics, the specificity of it all, yeah, but what I dig is like, for example, the, these, the, the sort of the, the te like terracotta, whatever you want to call it, like, the structure of it all, like this. Let's see. Look at that. I think it matches. I think it's a pleasant, happy kind of vibe. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's friendly. It feels like, like, it feels like Spyro to me. Um, but. Hi, Spyro. Each time a fairy zaps you, like this. It means your progress has been saved. It means your last plane sells. You'll return to the last place you got that. You also lost one million brain cells. Sorry, wrong Spyro game. Guys, what Spyro game's that from? Fun fact. You know what's funny? When I was like getting back into Spyro, like, you know, I didn't really play it a lot like after I was like eight or nine for like a couple years. I remember like misattributing that to, you know, one of these games, but I was, you know, I was actually, yeah, wrong. Cause it's just like one of those, yeah, that, that the game I'm talking about, which I won't even say, cause I'll, yeah, talk about it later. Talk about it another time. Um, I, I definitely, yeah, I definitely like misattributed it. I definitely, I definitely, I played it a lot as a kid, actually. I remember being very excited when I got it for Christmas. Jeez. Alright, Horace, 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 Horace Hogan. Um, yeah, so, there we go. They're all very arrogant, they all think they can do the job. They can't. And now, let's go get Colonel Sanders. I 
Alrighty, there's Sanders. Hello, Sanders. I'm a chicken, I'm a duck, I'm a chicken, I'm a duck, quack, 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 whatever it is. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. Well. Alright, now, anyway, here's time to do the worst part. This is, you know what, this is actually the true reason that I have put this part off. Uh, what skill point? There we go, thank you very much. It's this. Hey, Spyro. I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care for a test of your boating skills? So I'm just going to move out of the way. There we go. Uh, start the boarding challenge out. Yes. You can't catch all yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Running around here. I'm, I'm skipping the dialogue because I just don't. I don't even. I just don't want to do it. It's it. It's, look at this. Ready? Okay. Okay. That was that momentum there was not too bad. The thing is though, I'm I'm hearing from what I've heard. I think I actually can't do the races in 60 FPS um, because the characters go too fast, or something like that. Like I could be wrong, but that's what that's what I heard. Now, obviously, we're not going to be having to do the race until the third uh, homeroom. Was it home homeroom? I'm not I'm not in school. I haven't been in school for almost 10 years now. 10 year anniversary next year, actually, since high school. Um, which is going to be crazy. All right, and I'm off. So good thing it doesn't count because otherwise I would blow a gasket. Um, but yeah, so yeah, the thing is, yes, we won't have to worry about it till later. But just the, the way that this works is just it's so poorly done. And the annoying thing is that even after all these years with modding and stuff, people people don't want to spend years just modding boring things like you know it's like like controls that they want to do creative things so there's never really been any fixes to some of the flaws in reignited's engine the way the jumps happen and, and stuff like that i just I don't, yeah turning circle there's not i mean turning circles not great in the original but i mean i one thing i've always wanted actually is like more skate parks in the original game you know even if you know just mods and stuff like that like just 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 do it why not you know it's so so many creative, you know, so many potentially creative ideas, all the different ramps you could do. Um, there we go, that's a good jump there, not bad, not bad. Whoa, look at that, I'm just dive bombing into the thing. It's just, it's just so, what is with the momentum of this? Okay. Do not get it. Because the original, it, it does, it does work well, honestly, it does. Okay, so it's 12. Okay, where's that? Oh yeah, okay. Oh, jeez, oh, okay. Bit unlucky there. 13 to 12 and 13 here. Oh. Okay, so the slowness. See how it slowed down? You see how it slow, like it slowed down on the jump? Really strange, and then I did not know how that hit. I'm so glad I didn't fall off. But again, it, the, the problem is the next bit. It's the one we gotta do it all in, in time. Yeah, 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 Emily. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. If you uh, start the little yeah. challenge. Yeah. Now here's a, here's another piece of uh, fun fact trivia for you all. I'm asking you. You, know, you guys, you guys know this. This is just an obvious one. But this is the third Spyro level to have Sunny in the name. Yes. What are the other two? Right, there you go. Oh, oh, okay. Actually. A little bit of pace there. Right. One of them is Sunny Flight. It's from uh, Spyro 1. Okay, anyway. What's the other one? What's the other one? Le leave the comment in the comment section below. Do it. You know, if you, or, or don't, or don't, or don't. That's it. I'm giving you a choice, okay? Alright, here we go. Oh, alright. Okay. I don't want to take the risk here. I know there's a gem back there though, so I'm gonna to have to get it. Whoa, look at this. Okay, there's red gem there. Good, look. I'm, I'm, I'm doing, this is actually, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Okay, go through here. I don't know if that's, no, that's just, just to get the gems. Oh, look at the, how small that jump was. It's, I just don't get it. I do not get there. I do not get how it works. All right, thank goodness. 13, all right, so is it one up here? Yes, it is, yes. Okay, we're doing good, guys. We are doing very well. Oh, that was close. 
Okay, get this one over here. We still got we got heaps of time though. All right. 14 and here we go. Okay, that wasn't actually that wasn't too painful. Oh, that was sweet. And look, there was another egg look. in Elizabeth. Yeah, totally. Totally Kyle. Hey guys, I'm totally Kyle. I mean, that sounds like a raspy Drake Bell, but we can't talk about Drake Bell anymore, can't we? We, we can't. Well, we have to basically be like, look, accused predator, Jake Bell, which as a Drake and Josh fan, bloody heartbreak. Oh yeah, now we've got the tricks, so we can do tricks. Oh, now we've got the tricks, we can do tricks. Brilliant. Okay. Anyway, sorry guys. Uh, what am I doing here? All right, gems. What the absolute frick was that? Okay. There we go. Single back foot. Now, there's actually, there is a skill point here. We're gonna go for the, the twisted vine. Okay, so I don't understand where I didn't land there. Let's see. So we got that, and then like that. That's a nasty Gnork. Yeah. And that's another one. I wonder what the course record is in here is, actually. It's probably, because I, I know the record, the record's at least 50k plus in, in the, uh, and China Towers one, but in here it's obviously a lot. Well, it's not like it's not like it's. I don't know why that didn't count as any trick at all. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have to I have to look at that. That's an interesting piece of trivia there. I don't. I know there's like not a massively competitive skate scene. There used to be a Spyro skate tournament, though, hosted by Spyro Jam '86 back in the day. Good fun. Anyway, we're just doing this because we need it to. Uh, yeah, so look, as you can tell here, it is diminishing returns when you keep doing the same trick. I actually pressed, okay, yeah, see, 312, 156, see, basically, you can't, you can't just keep doing it. Oh, wow. Thing is, I don't know how you could get, like, a mega gold order, because I feel like you, your momentum doesn't go up a whole heap. See, I just tried to go for like a, a mega gold or whatever it's called, I forgot the name of it. Um, orange Crush, is it Orange Crush and... What is it? What is it actually? I'm completely blanking. There we go, and we're out. 8,000 and skill point acquired. Uh, let's just make sure we have got everything over here. Have we? We have. Let's get out of here, folks. I mean, folks, where's the lie? Oh, it's Bobby Fish. All right, so let's head on off to, not the balloonist, but Sheila, but not in her out. With a great, great little challenge here. Again, Spyro 3's humor on display coming up. It's actually one of the cool parts because the thing is Spyro 3 doesn't have the opening cutscene, which hey, is a shame. Spyro, there are Rhinox everywhere. Maybe I can find some peace and quiet at the top of this tower. She just wants to get out of here. Alas, I have lost my love. <laughs> She's being guarded by evil Rhinox at the top of yonder tower. Can you rescue her for me? Yes, I'm Arissimo. Yes, my Paisano, I can. Actually, well, the thing is, are they Italian? It's like Roman, sort of, like, it's like, the, the architecture is like, yeah, sort of ancient Rome. That's, that's sort of what it's, what it's taking off, you know. Oh. Oh, okay. By the way, I actually haven't ever done this. This is, like, legitimately the first time I've ever done this in Spyro 3. Like, I'm not actually joking. This is, like, a legit new, new lore for me. I like it. I like a good job. I mean, it's just the, some of the background, though. I just think that's that's where that's where I would have loved. Like, I, that's why I'm so excited for another Spyro because I know that if they do another one, the backgrounds are going to be insane because they're going to have to do so many less levels in overall. So it's going to mean just so many cool, cool places. I hate the timing of these jumps, by the way. It just sucks. Just it's like it's at half speed, and why is that not? What is going on? What the frick is... What is happening here? That is broken. I don't know if that's a 60 FPS issue. 
If it, I might, I can't be able to turn it off and on again to check. I can't be bothered uh, IT crowding it, but that's that's odd. Okay, anyway, let's just make sure we're not missing anything, eh? Oh, it just jumps. Annoy me. There you go. Sorry, guys. Positive energy here, okay? Right. I'm a positivity queen? No. King? Person? There you go. Up here. This is the timing. I'm so bad at it. Can't miss anything. No. Whoop. Yeah, it does feel. It does feel slow. But I know that. I think I got a comment in the last part saying I actually actually prefer how Sheila plays in this. So that's fair. Everyone's different. Everyone's special. Well, I'm not saying that you're special if you like the other, the new the new one. But yeah, it's, it is different. Definitely. Yeah, a little bit. It's just, it is different. And now we climb the tower. Yeah, again, really like the architecture, really like what they're going for here. Did you know as well, in the original game, they actually, I was like, it's only like five out of six of the um, dragon egg names were changed. And like, my, for example, Miles was like M-Y-L-E-S, which is just like, maybe they wanted to make it an explicit, you know, Miles Davis reference or whatever, you know. Alright, so climbing up the tower. Climbing up, it's a, it's a new Kate Bush uh, track. Climbing up that tower. Da, 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 da. Right. I haven't seen Stranger Things Season 4 yet, I'm behind. I know, I've, been, I've recently finished uh, Fleischman is in Trouble, which is an FX series. Yeah, see, this is a bit lazy, see? Good in theory, but yeah, like the skybox, but yeah, just wish they did a little bit more with that. Little bit, little bit dead atmosphere. Um, but um, yeah, no, Fleischman is in Trouble is really good really good really kind of depressing about like marriage and stuff what marco sent you here i've got a restraining order against him <laughs> so there we go so marco's actually this crazy kind of well maybe he's a stalker is that the right word we, we don't want to say that there you go six out of six if you see marco please tell him i've moved out he's moved <laughs> she's moved out you see okay i will all right now here's a question what gems am I missing? Because I actually don't know. Alright. What I might do is... Uh, I've got it. I feel like there's nothing that I would be missing, would it? Yeah, I think we're all good. But let me just... Let's just double check. Backtrack, you know, on the way. And then we might have missed some... Oh, look at that. If that one's it, I will be very, very... I won't be annoyed. I'll just be... I'll be impressed that they, you know, they put it there. Just to know that they'd be screwing us over. Oh, okay. No. All right, well, let's find out. Here's the thing, no gem finder now, right? No gem finder yet, not until one of the spark levels, which I have never played at all, like flat out at all, so that's fine. Okay. Great track, all timer. All timer fun vibe. Hey, look, the chicken. Look, a chicken turned up. Not the See, only one left. this level actually has a lot of just random dialogue, actually, which I I really like. Let's let's you know what? that's the thumbnail. Welcome. There we go, guys. That's it. That's the thumb. Oh, is that it? It's not it. All right, we're in shambles. We're in shambles now, guys. It's over. It's gone too long. This part's gone too long. Um. Knowing this game is like hidden in the cool but annoying grass. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, where could it be? I'll never know. I'll never. You know, it's over. LP over. Let's have a look. Actually, ninety-nine percent, three ninety-seven. So it's a two. It's a two and a one. We know that. You know, they say Fleischman is in trouble. Fisher is in trouble. This Reiner. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Hmm. I want to just do the believe it or not, George isn't at home. You know, it's got nothing to do with. It's got nothing to do with. That's just that's just my coping method, coping mechanism. Um. Okay. Let's go up here. Are we not missing anything over there? Nope. Nope. Okay. 
it, I feel like my gut feeling then is that it's gonna be in the skating. So I might cut to the skating and check. Wait a second, he actually does seem to have the gem finder ability like the entire time. Wait a minute, what does that mean? That means what prize do you get? What prize do you get? What do you, what do you, wait a minute. Seriously, what's good? What do you get from, if you don't get the gem finder, what do you get? Unless he's just like misdirecting us intentionally. Is he? What the f I don't even- I don't even see that. What is going on? I actually need- I- you know what? I- I'm gonna look that up straight after, but that is actually- that's really interesting to me. Cause like, it's like, do they, do they make up another ability or do they make the gem finder even better? I doubt it. Oh, frickin' hell. I did not even notice. Excellent work, game. Oh, by the way, yeah. One last piece of trivia that I'm sure you most of you know, but there used to be a fountain here in the original game, like in the like 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 a two early two thousands um, like alpha. Anyway, exit level. We're done. Finally, finally, finally the. Remember the oh, yeah, anyway. So we talk about Black Adam. Too late. Too late. We we'll talk about Black Adam in another part. All right. I shouldn't hate it. Tell you what I did love though, Puss in Boots. Absolutely phenomenal. I will talk about that as soon as I possibly can because it might be one of the best animated films I've ever seen in just in terms of the actual animation style. Got that Into the Spider-Verse-esque stuff. Like, and funnily enough, people that worked on that also worked on that. So anyway, guys, we'll talk about that another time. Thank you very much for watching. Why does he sound Australian? Or like New Zealander. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. In the next part, we're going on to this mysterious purple molten pink molten crater see you then thank you as always as well as well guys but by the way for all the support it genuinely means a lot and i really just appreciate all the comments all the views all the likes everything see you soon